Hey, hello, my fellow YouTubers. It's still Sunday and still shortly thereafter the Trump major announcement, which of course proved out to be nothing, which I guess we should have known. Uh, Trump, the deep state, and the Ninth Circuit. As I've repeated over and over, when they selected Trump, the deep state was part of the program, uh, so that way the Republicans would have an excuse to so-called get nothing done. The deep state's in the way. Uh, the Ninth Circuit is part of that. That's where all these major things Trump does uh, go through the Ninth Circuit so he can get shot down. It's all part of the program for Trump to get nothing done. That side to get nothing done, that side of the elite, that side of the Rothschilds, that side of the same old New World Order program to get nothing done. That's why when he gets shot down, they're like, oh, well, where's the, where's the where's the appeals? You know, what they should be fighting this tooth and nail. So should uh, his voters and his base, right? That's not happening. I got a comment that says Trump is trying. Not. No, he isn't. He's not trying to do anything. This whole government shutdown thing was a setup. Uh, they actually took it farther than I thought they would, but they had to get uh, people riled up on both sides, especially the Trump side, his base, his voters, to make it look like he was trying to do something. And now, as you can see, he's con he, you can see he's con conceding. This was just to you know, impede, uh, appease his base, appease his voters, and appease his party. And most of them ran out anyway. They know the game plan. Uh, he, he, like I said, he, he offered enough for the other side to say, okay, you know, let's go ahead and do this. They haven't voted on it yet. I don't know when that's going to be. Maybe Monday, Tuesday. I'm not sure when the hell. I'm, I'm not going to go listen to that horse shit again. Well, I did go listen to one because uh, he offered $800 million for humanitarian aid for the illegals. How about $800 million for humanitarian aid in this country? They're always bitching about and ready to cut off or shorten people uh, on their EBT, their SNAP, whatever you want to call it, the HUD, the Section 8. And yet he's going to go through $800 million at the illegals. And who knows that that money's going to go on that side of the border, this side of the border, to house them and to feed them and all that shit. But, you know, it's all, it's all, it's all, the, same old, it's all the same old crap. And people need to get a grip, you know, that people that still believe in the left-right paradigm, believe in the Trumpster. He hasn't done a freaking thing. You know what? I think he got rid of Obamacare, and still a lot of people still use that horse shit. And what does it matter? You're going to over-fucking-spend and get nothing out of your damn insurance anyway, for the most part. I mean, I mean, I mean, why, why, any insurance, your fucking car payment, your, your hospital bills, why should there be a copay? If you're paying in the insurance, there shouldn't be a fucking copay for nothing. I mean, just common sense. And to get, you know, back to the... Not well, I didn't hit it up yet, but the the main part of this whole freaking thing with the Trump, with Bush, with Hillary, which anybody that you knows she ain't been president yet, but the Colorado pre corona program, everyone to throw out there, she's going to be. But this whole horseshit with Trump, you cannot go from presidents were selected to oh now we won with Trump. It doesn't freaking happen. But eight hundred million to help out the illegals conceding to let him extend everything for three years. I don't give a shit about uh, DACA, Dream. It's all the same thing. He just approved every illegal in the damn country. So, no, there it is. <laughs> Bye.